Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don Channel. We're on Nellis Boulevard, just south of Cary Avenue here in East Las Vegas, heading southbound. And there's a police officer right there. And there's another one on the other side of the street. But the other one on the other side of the street was playing with his laptop, it looked like. And we're approaching Lake Mead Boulevard, East Lake Mead Boulevard. It looks a lot different on this side of Lake Mead Boulevard than it does on the west side of Lake Mead Boulevard. Especially extreme west Lake Mead Boulevard. This little car just in front of us. Burger King there on the right. Used to be a uh, Hush Puppies there on the left. Now it's breakfast, lunch, dinner. I don't know what it is. Oh, it it's, uh, looks like it's a Mexican restaurant. Awesome. Stanley Plaza, rent a center there. And a taco stand there on the side of the road. They're slinging tacos out here on the east side of town. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Wow, this Jeep. The thing is, they get out in front of you and then they just stop. Another Dottie's Casino. One of a chain here in town. It's a gaming hall. Cube Smart Self Storage. Amigo Tires there on the left. And some mom and pop look like secondary financing type of uh, car dealerships here. D and M, whatever that means, on the sign there. Not sure what that means. As we come up to the light here at Washington Avenue, southbound on Nellis. Friendly bear car wash on the right there, 100% hand wash. Ariana Motors on the left, Nellis Plaza on the left there. Bank of America, Dignity Health Physical Therapy. I cannot believe we've not hit a red light yet. This is wild. Well, there went Harris. Harris just turned yellow on us. There's an Arby's. Drive through. Change how you burge. We're going to come up here and make a right into this gas station and fill her up. There's no price on this uh, sign here. There never is. sit here and get us some gas and I wanted to point this out too so you were in a 7-eleven and then you'll notice across the street it's a 7-eleven so there's two 7-elevens kitty corner across the street from one another it's wild it's the wildest thing wanted to take a moment while we're at this gas station pumping the premium unleaded which is what I have to use in this car is 444 a gallon right now and again the sign doesn't show any of the prices 7-Eleven across the street doesn't even have a gas station, but they're both the same brand. I don't know how they're making money. Jack in the Box there, McDonald's, Church's Fried Chicken, and then some car repair shops there. So a lot of fast food. And then over here you got a Carl's Jr., as well as a Big K, Kmart, that uh, is a sign of days gone by. Corporate America. And it's abandoned now. Still has the Die Hard and Craftsman logos up on the side of the building up there. That's behind that tree. But yeah, you can see Big K right there, Kmart. No more. American icon of shopping is gone. Let's see if we can look at the price for the other grades here. So regular is $395 right now. Premium $455 and mid-grade $425. So it's really because of the uh, being a member here with 7-Eleven that I got 11 cents off per gallon. But uh, Pep Boys over there across the street here at the intersection of Bonanza Road and Nellis Boulevard. Back in the car now, the uh, little sign, little display said, see cashier for receipt. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not going in there. No, thank you. We will go ahead and get out of here. And get 
grade, three for six bucks. I think there's a little 16 ounce, no, 28 ounce. Oh, it's that bad. Yeah, this is the uh, former Kmart over here. Go left into here. A bustling symbol of American consumerism is now nothing. Gone. You can see it looks like someone's tried to break in here as well with the uh, plywood being put up there at the top. You'll note as well no windows other than what was there at the front doors. That's not very inviting in my opinion, but I guess that uh, it worked for them for a while. But this was their answer to Super Walmart, right? The um, Big K. Kenmore, Craftsman, and Die Hard brands there. Really, really, uh, well, you know, you, you, the 99 cent store and a lot of the other retailers are starting to experience a lot of pressure too. But um, that sign is gonna go away very, at some point, someone's gonna come in here and take over the property would have thought it would have been Walmart but they have one like a block or two down the street no it's maybe like a half mile down the street I should say another taco truck over here behind us but it's in the Sun I can't point the phone over there so now sitting at the light here for Bonanza and Nellis Boulevard and we finally got the green light here at Nellis Boulevard so we're gonna get Continue eastbound, entering Sunrise Manor. Looks like an old Pizza Hut over here on the left, and maybe it was an old Pizza Hut at some point. But now it's a tire shop. You see that? That it's a church. El Rapto de la Iglesia. I'm guessing the Rapture of the Church or Church of the Rapture, something like that. If you know, please, please feel free to correct me. I, my Spanish is, I, I never get to use it, so it tends to be really rusty. All my Spanish speaking friends tend to want to speak to me in English, so. I never get to practice Spanish. These homes lining Bonanza here. Up to the light here at Christie Lane. looking home there, older style. And there's a light up here at Lynn Lane. We also have video of our time up and down Lynn Lane, so feel free to check that out as well. These guys are racing up and down in front of that light there. I don't, I'm sure the cop is waiting. There's a cop there on the, on the left in front of us, the left lane. He's waiting to see if anyone wants to run it in front of him. The homes get a little bit bigger over here. Memory Lane coming up on here. Right there on the right. As we approach Sloan Lane. Continuing eastbound on Bonanza for our friends following along at home, just east of Sloan Lane now. You got uh, Sunrise Mountain Peak on the left and Frenchman's Mountain Peak there on the right, directly ahead of us. Shout out to 7-Eleven Man for helping me figure that one out. That's uh, SF, left to right, like San Francisco. Sunrise Mountain Peak on the left, Frenchman's Mountain on the right. I'm doing 45 the speed limit and that cop was pulling away from me, so goodness knows what he's doing. Come up to some bigger looking homes here at Fog Street, which becomes Mount Hood Street on the left side of the intersection here. And we are 
turn for this. Continue eastbound. Temperature outside right now reads 122 degrees Fahrenheit, according to the car. And I know there are those who've commented about how I can't pay attention to what the car says, blah, 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 I get it. Because the official reading is taken inside a shade, shady box at the airport with a fan blowing next to a nice chest. <laughs> Maybe some penguins in there playing around. Tell me not to pay attention to it. And here we are directly behind Las Vegas Metro Police Department. Unit 21030. Nevada tag number 1059. Just in case I need that information for whatever reason. He's probably headed to a call. Probably code 2, because he's been driving fast, but no lights or sirens. Folks, welcome back. We're uh, we got detoured there for a second, but uh, we're back here on Bonanza, heading eastbound, up here against the mountain, Frenchman's Mountain. Sunrise Mountain is to its left, so we cross past Radwick Drive. I wanted to take a moment and show you. There used to be a very popular hiking trail up here. There's a Mormon church over here to our left with six steeples on it. Pretty cool looking. Um, there used to be a hiking trail up here for Frenchman's Mountain, and everyone used to come up here, especially on the weekends, and go uh, hiking. And uh, that has not been able to occur for a couple of years now because this area up here is one where they would leave a lot of um, stolen cars, right? The thieves would come up here and they would leave, dump the cars up here. And right now, there's a truck sitting right there I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know if they're up hiking or if the truck was stolen or what the deal is. But anyway, so the county came in and they put in these barricades. So now you have to sit here and stare at these barricades at the end of Bonanza, where there used to be a hiking trail. Just not very happy. So we'll make a right here onto Los Feliz, the happy. I believe is direct, tra direct translation. If I'm wrong, please uh, let me know in the comments. This road is really up and down, literally. And it's in very poor shape. here 
here. This home here on the left is for sale. No, the lot is for sale. It looks like. Yeah, and you've got all these really, really bumpy road parts of the roadway here. Linden Avenue there on the left. And these homes have fantastic views of the entire valley. They're up in elevation here on the base of Frenchman's Mountain. This home here is uh, Asian, has Asian architecture here. It's really cool, in my opinion. Copper Road there. And yeah, you can hear how bumpy this road is. It's so old pine trees there. You can see those are very mature pine trees in front of that house. So that house has to have been here for a while. Come up here to the intersection with Stewart, and we'll show you real quick here the Doppler. I think it's a Doppler radar dome there, sphere out in the desert at the end of Desert Inn Road, or uh, they use it for aircraft, probably for both. I'm not sure. If you happen to know, drop a comment. I'm curious what exactly that is, or if it's multi purpose, they use it for cars, I mean, for cars, for planes, and for weather. But I uh, want to take a moment and say thank you all so very, very much and every single one of you. We would not be here without you. So uh, thank you to all of you. If you haven't already, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and TikTok. It helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. And take a look at our new mer merchandise available in our shop section of YouTube where the little shopping bag is. We have uh, the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas skyline here. So uh, thanks again so much for being here. And uh, just remember that always here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time.